Phantom Blade Zero exclusive 10 minute minutes of gameplay. I've heard nothing but good things about this game. Let's see it. So, uh, just, to, just to give a little bit of uh, background, this game apparently is inspired... To, sorry, it took inspirations from Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Metal Gear, Metal Gear Rising, dude. Metal Gear Rising. So, the fact that an inspiration for this game was MGR, I'm in. First of all, I love the music. Is that like a blood sword? Okay. So it, it has like traditional like two button combo attacks and stuff, which the game that most recently did that was uh, almost a year <laughs> was uh, Stellar Ass. All right. What? You can have two swords? Oh. Okay. Uh, blow up the target with a full, with tiger cannon. Whoa! Damn! <laughs> Whoa, that was anime as fuck. That was cool. Okay. Damn, he is holding that bow ferociously. Oh, cool. Hold L1 to keep blocking, and each attack block costs you extra shachi. Shachi. That's what's well, that's what it's called. Shachi. So is there like a parry system? Keep attacking until you breach the target's defense by depleting oh, okay. What the fuck? Okay, good dodge. I like the dodge. So there's a parry. With each parry, you gain Shachi Essence. I see. Blocking a brutal move consumes a large amount of Shachi, but you can tap L1 right before it lands to parry and automatically go step into a backstabbing position. Sick! Evade killer move? Okay, so there's like killer moves. All right, so... I think if you're coming from a game like Stellar Blade, this game is going to feel very comfortable for you. But this is also kind of... The, the, the speed of it is reminding me of MGR a little bit. Oh, yeah. Cool. That's a very long animation. So, is this more MGR than Soulsborne? Um, I'd say yes. Maybe, you could probably throw Neo in there a little bit. You could throw that in there. But MGR was a, a big inspiration for this game, too. Oh, please tell me there's like a dive. Yeah, there is. Damn, that's cool. I'm glad that I'm glad that it wasn't just like a stab, right? It's like he flips you over and fucking that, you know, just cut your neck, cut your vein. Damn, that is so cool. I love that. Okay. Now, this is something I was always concerned with when it comes to uh, these type of games. Um, enemies attacking you from behind. Is there like some indicator that tells you you're getting attacked from behind? There's one game that did that very well. And I'll talk about it after this. I just want to see if there's like any indicator. That's like, you're get oh, there is. There's a little red bar. There's actually, a, I don't know if you guys can see it on the left hand side. You can barely see it, but there is like a red arrow. Although it's like, it's kind of far.
Yeah, the enemies are very squishy. Oh, he broke your shit. I like the uh, blocking animations. It looks cool. Not bad. Not bad. Taisha the Frenzy. I do like how cinematic the... The action looks. Jesus Christ, you're freaking flipping all day long. I don't know if I like that though, like you forced them all the way to a wall and then it kind of takes away from like the natural cinematic like shot of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like when games do that. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. Damn, good timing. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at that after Tynan. Thanks. I actually have the, uh, I think, oh, I hope a 4K trailer. Cool? Cool? Yeah, this is, uh, like I said, it's, it feels very, uh, akin to our most recent game, Stellar Blade. Like, the combat is very similar. It's faster than Stellar Blade, though. I can tell you that. Way faster. And I think presentation-wise, it looks better? Or I was gonna say, like, on par, if not better. Because I do like the presentation of Stellar Blade when you're fighting. Um, but this is, this is way cooler. For me, personally. This is really cool. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I'm saying Ghost of Tsushima had it as well. Command Cleave. That was my name in high school. Yeah, so the, the game loop is very much like, uh, that's cool. That is cool. Oh, Chat, can someone help me? There, there's a name for this game loop. We're like... You're waiting for something to happen. You're not always guessing. It's not rock, paper, scissors. It's, uh... Because this is not rock, paper, scissors. It's not. Well, you no, know, it, it follows a certain pattern, but I don't think it's... I don't think it... Well, no, not attack patterns. I, that, that's not it. It's more like a... Reactive? No. Well, no, it's reactive, but it... it I feel like it has, like, like a proper name. Not... I don't want to say, like, Simon Says... Not really, Simon says. Like, I'm trying to think of Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima was a little bit interesting because it had a uh, the 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 combat cycle. You you weren't always like, um, you weren't always doing the same thing, right? Certain moves would have to come out, and you would have to try to guess on time what it was. So I feel like that game was a little bit more rock, paper, scissors. This one doesn't really feel that way. Again, which is very similar to Stellar Blade. Very similar. I like how the enemies look. I like how the world and the enemies look. They look cool. What? What? Yo, wait. If you don't dodge that, you're dead? <laughs> that was really cool. I like that. <laughs> All right, well, how do we have to dodge that? D 
dude, how do you dodge that? How do you get out of that thing? The sunken pillar of Kaloon. So that's the dodge. I see. Oh god. This guy isn't doing so well, this player. Ow. Which, for the record, I enjoyed the combat from Stellar Blade. I thought it was fine. It, it was it was fun at times. It wasn't too hard though. I wonder if this game is going to be as easy as that game. Okay. Didn't live up uh, after, after you finished the demo? Uh... Did I beat did I beat Stellar Blade chat? I don't think I did. I got to like the last part. I got up uh I got up to the end and then I stopped playing it. <laughs> no, that game is fun, Leon. It's a fun game. Damn, you can go off walls? That's cool. The tracking on that was kind of weird, but the game is still early. I wonder if you have like custom moves. Not custom moves, like unique moves. Oh, wow, and you can, like, switch all oh, you do because there's, like, a meter. Nice. See, this is what I don't like. When you, like, corner them like this, I don't like it. looks cool i i think what this game has going for it is that the art style is really cool right um but again clearly inspired by the, by a, a lot of games i don't know if everyone's going to be a big fan of the that game loop of like you just doing different combos and stuff and then just waiting to like block 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 wait for a big attack you know press it at the right time you know you get a you know i don't know if every, everyone's going to be inherently into that but um but everything else looks really cool about it, you know? Yeah, like every other Souls... I mean, honestly, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I am still waiting for, like, another DMC-like. <laughs> That's really what I want. I want another DMC-like. I want a, I want an action game that looks like this, but, like, you're doing DMC combos. That's what I want. <laughs> if this has a cool story and it has cool characters and stuff like that, then I'm in. I'm... I'm interested. Uh... But if anything, at least the game looks cool. But, you know, it, to, for me, it takes a lot for me to, like, really want to be invested into these, these type of games. <laughs>